The fight between Disney and Governor Ron DeSantis is now headed to federal court. The Walt Disney Company suing the governor, claiming retaliation. The lawsuit says recent legislation threatens its businesses and violates its constitutional rights. News 6's Lauren Cervantes is at Disney tonight with the lawsuit and the governor's response. The governor's communications director tells us in an email that this lawsuit is another example of Disney's will to want to operate outside the bounds of the law. But Disney alleges in their lawsuit that the current board's actions are a retaliation campaign led in conjunction with the governor. Walt Disney Parks and Resorts filed this lawsuit against the governor, the acting secretary of the Florida Department of Economic Opportunity, and all of the board members of the Central Florida Tourism Oversight District. Here's what the lawsuit alleges. It calls the battle with the state targeted retaliation and punishment for voicing their opinions, alleging the recent board actions threaten Disney's business operations and jeopardizes its economic future. News 6's political expert Jim Clark says on the lawsuit. I think that they have a, a pretty good argument here. The governor uh, threatened uh, toll roads. He threatened higher hotel taxes. He threatened to build a prison on uh, Disney property. At today's meeting, business owners from Disney Springs restaurants and shops voicing their concerns over the potential of seeing higher taxes. The restaurant business is run on very tight margins. Uh, we have costs that uh, have increased dramatically over the last year. Uh, inflation has hit us pretty hard. And the discussion of additional taxes, additional utilities uh, has been very um, concerning for us. We've heard a lot of discussion about increased taxes, increased regulation, some government um, uh, involvement at a higher level than we've been used to. And just knowing that if that does happen, that tends to get passed down to employees and to guests uh, and, and to our business. So we just wanted to start a dialogue with the board and just stay on top of all the things we're talking about. Board members did address the concerns of the small business owners who spoke during public comments, saying with the legal mess they're in over Disney's last minute deal with the former board, they are incurring legal fees that could result in a raise of taxes. For now in Orange County, I'm Lauren Cervantes getting results. News 6.